Good morning and welcome again on the number one breakfast show in the morning. Yes, it's Breakfast with Deacons. And I just want to tell you good news today. Always good news. And what we're going to be doing on this morning show is we want to focus on our youth. So today's show is all about the youth, what they're doing in the Archdiocese, what is the Archdiocese going to be doing, and what are their plans for youth over the next couple of years. And so bring all your young people around. If they're still at home, probably they didn't go to university this morning, bring them in front of the television. Because Breakfast with Deacons this morning is focusing on youth and all the positive things they're doing. This morning with me, I've got my brother, Winston Garcia. <laughs> and let me see if I can get this right. The Archdiocesan Episcopal Delegate for Youth. Yes, you got it right? Yeah, you got it right. I got it right. I got it right. <laughs> and you run the Youth Commission. Yes, That's correct, yes. Winston, welcome to Breakfast with Deacons. Thanks for let having me. Let me shake me. a good man's oh, hand. Good man's hand. <laughs> Something beautiful with this gentleman, too. He's a new father. Oh, yes. yeah. He, 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 he's a dad of a, of a son. That's how, right. Vincent, how many children do you have? I have five. Three boys and two girls. Three boys and yeah, two yeah. girls. We're looking, for, we're looking for a priest. Yeah. You're looking for a priest. <laughs> well, boy, I only have one son with plenty girls, and I want at least one nun and one priest in the bunch. Well, we have, we have to work at it, you know. Because yeah, yes. whatever Where you sow, you're going to reap it. Well, huh? so. well, I have a problem with my sowing and my reaping. <laughs> so we're asking the Lord for plenty help here. <laughs> So listen, remember, we want vocations. And from our youth, we will get vocations. Are you praying for your sons or your daughters to become religious? You know, that, that's a question that I want to throw out to you all today. Are you praying for one of your sons or one of your daughters? Or maybe if your sons or daughters have gone past that age, you know, what about a grandchild? What about a grandchild? Let's let's offer up our children. There are also late to vocations too, huh? Late, well, of course. Yeah, there are late vocations, people who have oh you talking about late vocation late vocation yeah, i was no. a late vocation person right definitely. Yeah, I was a late so there are people there who there are people who may have thought about it in an earlier yeah. Yeah. incarnation uh -huh. and now they might be face to face with, with, with the reality of a call on their lives well you know we've had a number of priests mm -hmm. um, who had late vocations father george pritchard which is a wonderful saint mm -hmm. i love him too bad He's a late vocation. And we've had a couple others, you know, who are late vocations. You know, the, the whole bunch of deacons are late vocations. Well, Jesus doesn't have any problem with people coming late, you know. You sure? One, in one instance, he, pay, <laughs> he paid a man to come in at 11 hour, he paid him the same thing. He got the same pay. He got the same pay. those who came in at the first hour. So he doesn't discriminate. Yeah, but I am worried about, you know, the, the, the bridesmaids. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're never arriving too late. They went to get the oil. <laughs> so don't wait for your oil. Use the oil that you have right amen, now. Make amen. sure that you top up to get inside. Amen. Amen. Let's talk a little bit about some of the uh, of the good news that we have today. Some of the good news that we have today is ah, I see Bovell swims to silver in hundred IM, and this is you know this big time swimming. You know, of course, this is top of the world. Top of the. I understand the Russian guy. Yeah, boy. He just yeah. edged him out by uh, yeah, but a whisker. Yeah, but I think you know, Georgie, and listen. We're going to have George on this program one of these days. George has been improving his times as a 30-year-old. Mm. You know, it's lots amazing. of people say that you're getting old. He's supposed to peak at 27, man. You know what I mean? From 27. But that man is, is getting only better. Mm. He's getting better. His times are getting better. His fitness looks a lot better. And he's doing wonderful things. Mm. We saw whether we had the, um, the, the, the Big Five final. The other day, um, St. Mary's were just edged out 2-1 mm -hmm. by Prez San Fernando. But good to see, you know, good to see, um, you know, the Catholic yes, boys, yes, yes. whether it's from South or not. We're not complaining, even though I'm a St. Mary's boy, you know. <laughs> they, they, they whipped us 2-1. But we're still going to challenge that goal, you understand? I think he pushed the, I think, I think, I think the, 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 the forward push our goalkeeper inside the goal post, you, you know? Well, I didn't think so. Yeah, I, I, I know so. You know so? Uh, I thought he was a press boy. <laughs> no, no, I'm a Holy Cross boy. <laughs> He's a Holy Cross boy. Good Holy Cross. Good Catholic education. And you know, we just had the raffle for the primary schools. Mm -hmm. You know, yes, I think they're going to be publishing the results in, some, in this weekend's Catholic, Catholic News. News. You know, but we're here to talk about youth. Mm -hmm. Winston, you want to share, you are the head of the Youth Commission. What's been happening with youth? What are your plans for youth? What have you been doing? Share with, share with our viewing public. Well, we, 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 we don't have enough time to talk about the, the, the magnitude yeah. of, the, of the, the, the dream 
that we have for young people in this archdiocese. Okay. Uh, in 2009, we had a, we had synod, yeah. and out of out of the synod came uh, three pastoral priorities. Mm -hmm. The first one being the new evangelization. Right. Um, number four resolution under the the the, the, um, the that 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 pastoral priority, new evangelization, was that every parish yeah. should establish comprehensive youth and young adult ministry. Okay. Okay. And that is that is that's what drives us. Okay. To help establish a type of ministry mm -hmm. that will capture the imagination of young people. Yeah. And when we talk about youth in, in, youth, in youth ministry, we're talking about from 12, so form 1, mm -hmm. up to 35. Okay. After 18, you're considered a young adult. Yeah. All right. So we are looking to, to make church and religion and the faith mm -hmm. meaningful yeah. and, 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 and and, and, and worthwhile mm -hmm. for, for youth and young adults. And we've come up with, 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 with after a whole lot of work, yeah, yeah. we've come up with something that we believe yeah. is going to work. And, and how, how, have your, how have all the parishes been going? Have they been developing that youth program and so on? Are they on board with you? Okay, no, no, change is something that takes time. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of people are afraid of change, especially yeah. people who've been doing things in a particular way for years. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it's taking time for people to catch up. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're having a big stakeholders meeting on the 23rd of, of this month. 23rd, 23rd of, of November. Of November at Tunapuna RC Tunapuna Church RC. Hall yeah. to roll out mm -hmm. the, real, the, the, the in and outs yeah. of this new program, mm -hmm. Youth EFM. Yeah. And what does EFM mean? Well, that's what the thunder is. Uh -huh. E, encounter with Christ. We believe that after reading all the documents in youth ministry mm -hmm. and reading all the documents that... Um, um, John Paul II uh, mm -hmm. to, to, to say about the church and mm -hmm. youth and so on, mm -hmm. and um, Benedict XVI yeah. and this present Pope, mm -hmm. we are absolutely, and plus the, the Aparacida document mm -hmm. that came out in 2007, I believe, yeah, yeah. from the bishops of Latin America and the Caribbean. Yeah. Given and, he, and, he was one, and he was one of the he authors. He was the heart of that. Yes. Yeah. After, after absorbing all of that, we mm -hmm. condensed and distilled all that information, mm -hmm. and it boils down mm -hmm. to three things we have to do. Yeah. One, mm -hmm. Um, well, let me just quote from these bishops. These bishops of Latin America and the Caribbean say, listen, it's a waste of time mm -hmm. if all we do is catechize people. They say the first thing we need to do is to offer the faithful across the board mm -hmm. an intense encounter with Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs> That's what the bishops Amen. of Latin America, and they say that that encounter with Christ must lead to mm -hmm. a thorough change of life. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And an inner transformation. That is encounter with Christ. Encounter, inner transformation. Inner transformation. And, 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 and for them to have a personal relationship, to meet Jesus. <laughs> that's, where, that's where life begins. Amen. Life Amen. begins when you meet Jesus. Amen. And especially for us cradle Catholics who yeah. were baptized as infants, yeah. who didn't have a clue yeah. about what was going on. Yeah. We are part of a faith community that gave us this gift. Yeah. And now we have to discover this gift. Mm -hmm. But when we look at scripture, you will see that Anybody who made a difference mm -hmm. in, the, in the New Testament, in the Bible, yeah. biblical history, the first thing is that they encountered Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Paul on his way to Damascus That's right. encountered Jesus. Hallelujah. All you the disciples I mean? walking by the Sea of Galilee, yeah. throwing the sand in Maracas or wherever they're doing, right. Jesus show up. Yeah. But you see, Jesus doesn't show up today in Arima and, 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 and Tobago and wherever. He shows up in us. Yeah, yeah. And if they encounter, when they encounter us, they must encounter Jesus. Ah, when they encounter the Christ in mm. you, they get the whole gospel. Because we've been christened. Amen. We have become like, we've become other Christs yes. in the world. I like that. Christened other Christ That's in the world. right. Beautiful. So the encounter with Christ mm -hmm. is at the very forefront mm -hmm. of um, our work with youth and young adults. Okay. To that end, we, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are partnering with all the encounter yeah. um, um, ministries right. in the Archdiocese. And, and what are some of those ministries? We're talking about um, Youth Alpha, mm -hmm. we're talking about CORE. CORE right. has been kicking up a storm. Yes, yes, I could so. And young people's, young people's faith, you see, you see people need a point of reference. Yeah. When they have to make a choice about, about, about the difficult things in life, mm -hmm. they have to have a point of reference to see, you know, what am I betraying if I 
Yeah. If I make a choice like that. Yeah. And when they come to know Jesus and experience Jesus in a deep way through these programs, mm -hmm. then when they have to make their choices, they can say, listen, I can't say yes to this and no to Jesus. Amen. Because he's too real to me now. Amen. He used Amen. to be a figure in history. Yeah. He used to be on the cross somewhere out there. Right. But now he's in my life. Yeah. He's a friend. He yeah. walks with me. He talks with me. He sings with me. He goes to mass with me. Yeah. You know, I receive him into my spirit, yeah. into my heart. Yeah. So I now no have a point of reference yeah. that does not allow me to, to, to live the same way I used to live before. Amen. Encounter with Christ. Amen. Um, choice, mm -hmm. Youth 2000, mm -hmm. all these ministries, yeah. we, are implore, we are imploring yes. to work with us yeah. to bring about this transformation in our young people. A big problem in our faith is that we have been catechizing, catechizing, catechizing. Right. Pope John, Blessed John Paul II told us there's too much catechesis without um, evangelization. It's not yeah. going to go very far. Right. The bishops of Latin America, they, you know, they, they described it. They described catechesis without an encounter with Christ as cold knowledge. Cold knowledge. That's what a lot of our young people, you ever drink cold porridge? Yes. <laughs> it's not a nice yes, thing. No, what about it, cold it, soup? It sticks all oh, over you. Yeah, what about, it sticks on the top of your mouth. What about cold soup? Cold soup? Yeah. No, 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 no. I, I, do, do, what do you want to hear about that? I want a warm fish word. With all the, amen. With all the encounter with Christ, yeah. Christianity is cold porridge. Right. Cold soup. Yes. It has value, yeah. but it doesn't stimulate anybody yes. and give you like the warmth that you experience in your spirit. And Jesus wants us to be? On fire. On fire. <laughs> on fire. <laughs> so that's the E. Yeah. Now, we could talk more about the E, but we yeah. don't have time. Good. Let's go to the F. The F is formation. Right. When you become a disciple of Jesus, the first thing you want, if you become a disciple of anything, if, yeah. you, if you become a disciple of karate, yeah. you have to learn a new language. Yes. You have to put on a new set of clothes. Yes. You have to have a new set of attitude. Right. You have to have respect for the sensei. Yes. You have to have respect for the dojo. Yes. It's a whole new life. Yeah. You using new words, you have new friends, a whole new world. You understand? That's what Jesus called the kingdom. Amen. <laughs> that you enter, Jesus told um, Nicodemus, yeah. except a man is born again, yeah. he cannot, born from above, yeah. he cannot he see. see. There's a blindness, yeah. you can't see it. Yeah. And then he says, except a man is born from water and Holy Spirit, he cannot enter. enter. He cannot enter. So when, once you enter, now you want to learn more about the kingdom. Yeah. So that's where formation comes about. There's a thirst for knowledge. Yeah. So, so you, you get them to encounter Christ, uh -huh. and then from there, you're going to bring them into a full knowledge of Christ. They want so, it. Because they want it. They want it. Nice. Not because, because we want, they're warm. Uh, yes. They're hot. Not because the mother sent me. Thank you. I go into the confirmation yeah. class. Not because the mother sent me. Yeah. I go into this or I go into that. I'm going to that because I want it. Yeah, yeah. Because I want to be a disciple. Yeah. As a matter of fact, um, the whole of the Caribbean is talking about missionary discipleship. Don't just be a, miss, a, a disciple. Be a missionary disciple. And, and, and the Aparecida document speaks about that too. Yeah. A, a disciple is not a, a, isn't complete if all you are is a follower of Christ. Yeah. And you just you learn all the prayers, you learn all the, the theology, you learn all the liturgy, and, and you're not doing anything for Christ. Yeah. You're walk in his footsteps. So that's an encounter with Christ. Mm -hmm. Formation. Formation. Right. And we're talking about now, one of the dreams of the church is authentic, integral human development. Meaning that out of our ministry, that people should come out as balanced people, mm -hmm. young people. Mm -hmm. That they're not just spiritually on a high, yeah. but emotionally, yeah. psychologically, mentally, mentally yeah. physically. Yeah. They're well-rounded people yeah. who, can, who can find their way in the world yeah. and be able to deal with situations as they arise. Yeah, yeah. You know? So the, the dream of the church is authentic, integral human development. You become more human as you participate. Now, you talk in, in the, the encounter. You have your Youth 2000, you have your Alpha, mm. you have Youth Alpha, you have Life in the Spirit mm. Seminar. Ah, you have the Life core, in the Spirit Seminar. Uh -huh. Right? But what, in terms of formation side now, mm. what are the plans for formation? Do you have any of those types of ministries that can help shape and form the youth after, because they are now desiring it? Mm. What does the church have? Okay. The Catechetical Commission. Yeah. They have literature. They, 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 have, they have a series of books from Form 1 to yeah. Form 5. Yeah. And if, you f if from Form 1 you start, mm -hmm. you start preparing those young people mm -hmm. with that and they start journeying. Right, right. Sister, what's it, sister, not Sister Columba, I believe, who 
was instrumental in, in, right. in authoring right. those books. Yeah. If if our if our young people from form one right. follow those books, right. when but the best one of all is is, is, number, is number five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, we, I think that that, that one's a form form four and form five. Right. Okay. But it can be used for adults as well. It's beautiful. It forms you into disciple. I've, I've got the, I've got the books. Helps you to understand yourself. Mm -hmm. Helps you to understand your emotion, how you feel, how you think about yourself, how you think about others, the world, think about the church and so on. It's wonderful formation for young people. Okay. So we, we got them up to form five. Uh huh. What do we have now in place from the form five? Because remember, we're looking at for young adults, mm -hmm. we're talking about thirty five come down. Mm -hmm. What what uh, somebody told me actually you have Catholicism 201 Precise. which teaches them now about the faith okay. it answers questions mm -hmm. about the thorny mm -hmm. issues mm -hmm. and so on you know so okay so we got Catholicism 201 we've got what sister Columba and her team produce from form 1 to form 5 is there anything else okay. that we have there is lots more okay now depending on where parishes are at because some right. parishes have done a certain amount of work and so on there yeah. are different programs for instance, uh, theology of the theology body. Theology of the body. Yes. Right, 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 <laughs> right, 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 right. That's a world of information. Yeah, yeah. It's available. Yeah. There's a group in Point of Pair that we're going to hook up Point with. Point of Pair, right, right, right. And, Deacon, uh, and, um, yeah, Deacon Harold, right. You know, is doing some wonderful work down there with that. So we are hoping that yeah. we, that's going to go viral. We hope. Yeah, yeah. No, theology of the body is a very intellectually uh, pregnant mm -hmm. uh, course. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That, that you've got to have a, a master's degree to understand it from the original text. Yeah, but this young man, West, did a tremendous job a couple of years right. ago. So we broke, this has been broken down now right. for, for young people to understand yeah. the, uh, you. Yeah. <laughs> to understand you yeah. and why you're in this body right. and what God is, is hoping to achieve yeah. through you. Yeah. You know? And your relationships with the opposite sex and Precisely. so on and, and what God has called, you know, you to be in terms of your relationship with the opposite sex, mm -hmm. as well as with Almighty God. That's right. Right. That's it, right? Treat theology no, I, I'm glad you talk about the opposite sex. Right mm -hmm. now in the Youth Commission, we have two books mm -hmm. available for sale. Yeah. And when I met with Archbishop, Archbishop Harris, he said, you know, we've got to prepare, since most of the young people mm -hmm. are want, they want to get married. Yeah. They don't want to, they don't want to become nuns. Right. right, right. <laughs> We gotta prepare them for that. Yeah, because so that's we, a vocation. Yeah. That's a vocation. Right. We have two books. Yeah. The ABCs mm -hmm. of choosing a husband, and the ABCs of choosing, of a, choosing wife. a wife. I want some. Organize something for me. Let me tell you uh -huh. that this guy who wrote this book. Mm -hmm. I um, hope he was married, you know. Listen to me, he had seven seven children. Oh God, he was married. Seven <laughs> girls. <laughs> oh, oh God. So he had to guide these girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How to choose a husband. How to choose a husband. And he chose a wife. No, so no, he, must he was Protestant, eh? Yeah. And he discovered the faith. Yeah. And now, Steve Wood is his name. If you go to www.dads.org, yeah. you will see. He is the head of something called St. Joseph Covenant Keepers for Men. Oh, wow. He forms men and, and, and the, 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 these co covenant keepers, they have eight principles that help shape the lives of young men who will eventually emerge to be fathers and people who will bring up the next generation of Christians. Winston, I want you to say that again for the camera because I know that there are many mothers outside there who are watching on at this show. Mm -hmm. Their sons, their daughters may be contemplating marriage, but this is this is important. Yes, we have marriage preparation courses. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is more intense but, and more but human. This sounds like something that every mother and every father should share with their children. We see the thing about it. Even if they're not, even if they are not. Thinking about marriage, yeah, they have to start thinking about friendship. Yeah, what kind of qualities? And right now we are in in, 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 in the, the the pastoral priority that speaks about values, yes, mm -hmm. right, virtues and values and so on. Mm -hmm. What are the values you're looking for in a friend? One of the most frightening things I find is young people tell me, "This is my boyfriend." When you look at the disaster, sorry, when you look at the guy, but no, almost you look at the disaster. When you look at it, you know there's trouble waiting to happen. Hey, hold on. You, you, you can't you're... carry on a proper conversation. Yeah. He's only looking at you from head to toe. Yeah. He, he you yeah, ask yeah, him what, what you understand ah, what I'm talking about. No, that's so not how come you, you know, maybe he might fulfill a need in her? Nobody, maybe her father Ooh. never told her, Ooh. I love you, I yeah, care yeah, for yeah, you, yeah, you're yeah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And he's the first person ever to say, oh, God, gosh, I love you. I lo you're so, everything and about you is so wonderful. I the next thing. The next thing you wrong know. Wrong thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Next thing you know is uptown investment for downtown business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Problems yeah, yeah. going on. Problems, problems. But, <laughs> <laughs> but the, the thing is, yeah. the, the, that kind of thing, um, for, forming people 
to 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 be able to discern. Yeah, yeah. Because if the, the, if you if you get close to people, yeah. they begin to their values begin to rub off on you. Well, you know, today's gospel is all about that. Eh? Today's gospel is all about birds of a feather flock together. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, and now they challenge Jesus because he was liming with prostitutes and tax collectors. You know what I mean? <laughs> so th th that's a whole other gospel we will talk about. No, but let me say something about that. Because this morning, God, I, uh, I came out to the shower. Yeah. I didn't know that was gospel for the day. You serious? I'm telling you, I uh -huh. came out to the shower this morning and I, I started getting some vibes on that. Uh -huh. People keep talking about Jesus he used to lime with prostitutes and tax collectors and everything else. But? But yes. after he left them, yeah. They was they never continue living the same because way because they had an encounter with ah. Christ. <laughs> Amen. No, some people use that as an excuse yeah. to lie with prostitutes and tax collectors <laughs> and, or whoever else. Excuse me, that's not good news. That, that, that's, that's not that's good, good news. news for some people. They need to know that uh -huh. that they're just putting up a front. They just yeah. want to just, just want to experience some things that they're not supposed to. Yeah. Not, some things that are not permitted to. Theology of the body. We have to have that. Right. You can't. Right expose yourself to a particular yeah. environment and not impact it yes. because it's going to impact you. That's life. Amen. And as Mr. Pantin always used to say, mm -hmm. life is not taught, yeah. life is caught. Life is not thought. Not life, taught. Uh, life is not taught. Yes. It is caught. C-A-U-G-H-T. That's right. Well, I got spells still. <laughs> <laughs> so now, if you, if, if you expose yourself and you see what happens now, because you're, you're, you're in an environment that is not... Um, um, supportive and, yes. and, and enthusiastic about the Christian faith, yeah. the values are going to go down, yeah. and then your value system, you're going to look for the lowest common denominator now, well, yeah, well, yeah. well, yeah. eventually you end up with nothing. And we are trying to provide a different environment for you. Precisely. We are trying to develop communities mm -hmm. that our, our young people could feel comfortable in. Doing the right thing. Doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. Faith-based, mm -hmm. strengthening them while they have to go out into the world so that they will not be part of the mm -hmm. world, mm -hmm. but also to be a light shining in the world. Well, b before I forget it, eh, and mm -hmm. I know it's only half an hour we have. Yeah, we only have about five, six more minutes. Right. Mm -hmm. we, we, we said we had two books. Right. Um, the ABCs have chosen a husband. husband. The ABCs have chosen a wife. wife. Yeah. We also have the UCAT. That is formation. Love it. Love it. Love it. I have one home. Question and answer. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Formation mm -hmm. for youth and young adults. Yeah. We also have a little book for $20 to help you understand the Bible. Hold on. 20 TT or 20, 20 US? TT dollars. It explains a lot. Twenty about, TT dollars. Yes, you could call yeah. Youth Commission six two four zero four five four six two four zero four five four, or you can email us at rcyctt at gmail dot com. Okay. So it will help you to understand how the church thinks about the Bible. Because mm -hmm. if you you just pick up a Bible, like I told my par my parish priest once, Father, I, I'm interested in the Bible. I want to, I want to buy a Bible. What kind to buy? Is it buy any Bible, man? Do you only buy any Bible? Yeah, just buy a Bible, buy a good Bible. I don't know what a good Bible is. Yeah. I didn't know that there were seven books that the Catholic Bible has, the deuterocanonical books that we have. That the, the others, the others don't have. I That's didn't know right. that. Yeah. So my first Bible was a King James. You bought a King James? I didn't know. Yeah, right, okay. And I used to live in that. Yeah. Yeah, I made the word my home. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, apart from that, mm -hmm. so this book will help you to understand mm -hmm. as you're being formed, as you're hungry, yeah. so it will give you a, a, a simple language. Yeah. $20 to the book, so you know it's not a big tick book. Right. But it helps you to understand how many books in the Bible, why, um, New Testament, how many books in the New Testament, how, how they made up the Gospels, the letters, the that, the that, the that, the Old Testament, the prophets, historical books, la la la, the, the, the. so you have a sense of what the whole is. So you know when, you, what, when you're looking for what you're looking for, like when you go to the supermarket, mm -hmm. and you say I'm looking for, for well for me diapers, <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> you say uh -huh. lane. She don't have to look. She just say lane five. Yeah. When they're looking for truth, when they're looking for salvation, they don't know where to look for it. Yeah. You know, looking for salvation in Psalms. Yeah. <laughs> you're looking for salvation in Jesus. Amen. In, in the gospel, which means good news. Right. So they'll know where to find what. You want to find wisdom, how to live your life. You 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 you, you go to the Psalms. You go to um, Proverbs. Yeah. Uh, and you learn how wise people lived. Now, this is what is so amazing about our own faith. We've got everything here. Everything. It's the best kept secret. Uh, that, but the thing is, the people who are advertising it, that's yeah. the problem, you know. The people who are advertising the faith, the ad's not good. They're not, they're not good. The ad's not good. They even have better ads than us. Well, let me tell you something. No, I'm talking about our ads. No, I'm talking about these you, faces. Or these oh, ads. Oh, all right, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> these faces are ads. Does he have the actions about? are ads. Yes. Yeah. I saw a man give me a bad driving highway and squeezing in front of me yesterday and right in front of me in the back of the car. Back of the truck is a truck. It says this may be your last chance. Accept Jesus now. <laughs> on a truck, on that, a truck that squeezes you off that's the road. Que that's the, yeah, you know. Nah, he borrowed the truck. He borrowed the truck. He had to borrow that truck. Anyway, we didn't talk about mission. <laughs> All right, so we we, we talked about encounter. Encounter with Christ. We talked about formation. formation. Tell us about mission because we just got about two minutes ago. So Listen, mission. The, the the Archbishop has given us the Kaiwal RC School. We've been struggling for the last two years to convert it from an RC school into a retreat, into a missions training center Amen. for youth and young adults. Okay. And we've been, we'll be taught mm -hmm. that it was an easy thing. Yeah. But when we start working, we realize mercy, mercy, mercy. We had to change the whole roof and it blew a lot of our um, money Wait. and so on. In Kaigual, we've been given a place for youth ministry, youth for formation. Ministry, for formation. Helping them to, so that we can we strengthen can. them. We like, can, 40, 40 young people at a time. At we time. need help. Listen, we need help outside there. We need, Did you hear Winston, the Archdiocesan <laughs> delegate or mm. Episcopal delegate for youth? We've got a place outside there. We need help to restore it. That's right. It's been down. So listen, call us. Get in touch with the youth 624 0454. 624-0454. Please call. We need your help mm -hmm. to build this place which can be called a home mm -hmm. for the youth. It's in the bush. It's in the bush. It's in the bush. And you know, you know young people love bush. The, but the, the other thing is we want to build a swimming pool next to Amen. On, on the premises. Because we'll, yeah. when they come, you can't carry young people in the bush. And all the, 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 the new things they've seen is mosquitoes and sunflies. <laughs> <laughs> we want to be able to yeah. look forward to a yeah. nice swim in the evening and okay. so on. Okay, okay, right. great. So we, the, we, have, we, have, we, have, we need everything from scratch. We need stove, fridge, uh, microwave, freezer, chairs, tables, paint. Now, air condition units. Air condition units. Well, we, we got 20 double decker beds do, um, donated recently. 20 double decker beds, so I mean, so you could hold 40. 40, people. yes. All right, beautiful. And we need, we need, we need two um, four by six uh, windows, wrought iron windows, yeah. burglar proof. Burglar proof. And a, and a, and a kitchen window. We and a watchman. A, well, we need a lot of stuff. We only have about 30 more seconds. Oh, man. So, we, you, you realize how exciting this is? <laughs> we have to bring Winston back again with Breakfast with Deacon. There's so many things going on. We want to thank you for looking on again at Breakfast with Deacon, the number one show in the morning. Tell your friends, tell everybody, Breakfast with Deacons is where you hear the good news. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> and we, we, we're all about youth. Um, we've got a lot of wonderful things happening. The, the Catholic Carnival Band is launching this weekend, you know, up at, the semin up at the seminary dinner. So please come along. Have a wonderful day. Winston, great to have you on board. Thanks for having me. Breakfast with Deacons. Breakfast with Deacons and friends. <laughs>